Hello mga kaguro, mga bata. Ako si Teacher Roy Mulanda. All you are right? Yes, all right. Today we are now in Science 5 First Quarter Week 1, Day 1. Our content, useful and harmful materials. Our objectives describe the characteristics of useful materials. Inside the bags are pictures of useful materials found at home. The teacher will get the pictures one at a time and let the pupils identify the materials in the picture and ask them the uses of these materials. Shoe and tail. Naming some of the household chemicals and materials. The first material, soap and detergent, are useful for cleaning. The second one, for flavoring. The third one, dishwashing. The fourth one, cleaning. And the second one, for cooking, eating, cooling, schooling, Communicating, cleaning, for medicine, for cleaning, and for cooking. What are these materials? Where do we use these for? In the following group activity, you will identify the uses of various materials in your house. Activity 1, complete the table by giving the uses of the materials given on the first column. Second activity, TV commercial. Make a TV commercial about the useful material, choose two from the list. Activity 3, Picture puzzle. Arrange the puzzle to see that in the in a picture. In the Manila paper, list down the useful materials that you can find in the picture and be able to discuss it in front the uses of these materials. Activity four. Compose a jingle with a tune of Leron Leron Sinta about useful materials. How did you find the activity? What did you do to come up with your answer? What are useful materials that are found at home? Where do we use these materials? How are they useful to us? What are the characteristics of those useful materials? When we speak of useful materials, can be found at home to improve your health, destroy harmful organism, make life more comfortable, make work faster and easier, and help protect and conserve the environment. Now we are going to watch the video. Magic creamy spaghetti. Right. Simulang natin. Okay, tayo harapan nandiyan lahat ang ingredients, no? Pwede natin ng konting olive oil. Yes po. Ito talaga, hindi ko to forte. Maski sabihin niyo po na madaling gawin, hindi ko siya ma-perfect. Kaya tamang-tama talaga ito para sa akin siya. Wow naman! Sige, sige, sige. So, unang-una, of course, kunting mantika. Ini kaya na fuel, no? Lahat naman ay pwede. Lalagyan naman natin ng butter. Kasi pag nagluto tayo ng katuloy ito yung spaghetti, may kunting mantika at lalagyan natin ng kunting butter para hindi masunog ka agad. Tama po na. Konti ganun kagarami, ganyan konti lang. So, Ay, ang konti naman yan siya. Ah, ganyan. Ayan. 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 At pag nilagay na natin ang butter, huwag natin antayin na masunog. Ilagay natin yung onion kaagad. 
Okay. Ay, hinuunan niyo po ang onion, onion. shell. Yes. Kasi yan ang teknik po. Upang sumarap lalo ang ating uh, spaghetti, lalagyan natin ng sibuyas muna. Then, medyo uh -huh. translucent na po siya. At saka natin lalagyan ng garlic. Yan. Ako po kasi nung una ko ang garlic. So ngayon, alam ko na na dapat unahin ang onion. Onion, yes. Tama po yan. Then, antay lang natin medyo kunting slightly brown. Huwag naman yung brown na brown. Kasi nagkukos pa rin po yan ng bitterness ng ating spaghetti yung sauce. Ah. No? Kailangan hindi ganong brown. Okay po. Now, ilagay natin po ang ating giniling. Okay? Hmm? Anahin natin giniling. Pwedeng beef, pwedeng chicken, pwedeng pork. Siya, pag kunyari po ba, eh, hindi naglagay ng giniling, nakaka-apekto po yan sa lasa ng sauce natin? Ito naman ay ayon sa kagustuhan natin ng ating spaghetti. Pinoy tayo eh. Apo. Kinagalang may giniling. Pag sinasabi spaghetti, may giniling. Mm -hmm. Okay? Proper sauteing, dapat ang kailangan. Hindi yung nagmamadali. Ang pagluluto kasi ay nasa puso. Binibigyan ng hubog ng panahon para gano'n eh makamtan mo ang tagumpay ng pagluluto. Ang lalim ng Tagalog ko ngayon. Bakit nga siya? Bakit nga po gano'n? Dahil sa edad siguro na makasama ko, mga bata pa. Mga bata pa kasi sila. Ano? Mga bata, no? Mga bata, di ba sabi ko, wala akong sinabing masama. Mga bata. Bakit ako ba sa tingin niyo? Bata pa ako? Hindi, ah. Kalibel! Yan ang mga kalibel natin, di ba? Kaya gusto ko ko sa idol sa kusina talaga, eh. Lahat, no? Nandiyan dito. So, mapapansin natin, oh. Lumabas yung oil ng ating beef. Pero yun na masarap. Now, next, yung ating pong liver. Bago natin ilagay yung ating tinatawag na sausage, hotdog. Hindi kaya ng sausage. Okay, so ilagay natin ngayon yung ating tinatawag na tomato. Ha? Ilagay natin tomato sauce. Dahil mga sim, lalagyan natin ng sugar. Apa. Pwede mo bang magtanong? Pwede po. Sige po. Walang bayad. Napansin ko po, hindi niyo po nilagyan ng mushroom. Pwede po ba lagyan ng mushroom? Ay, opo naman. Pwede, pwede po. Pwede mo lagyan ng shiitake mushroom. Lahat ng mushroom. Pwede po. Alam. Dahil po, pag dinagyan ng mushroom, lalong kaklas. Wow. May mushroom, di ba? Okay. Papalitan natin dito yan para makita ninyo. Ang style po dyan ay ganito, ha? May sauce ka na. Mayroon kang butter ulit. At mayroon ka ng pasta. At kunting mantika. Ba? Yan din pala yun, ano, chef, no? Tulad yan, may butter. Mm -hmm. Ganyan po siya. Wow. Then habang tinutuna mo, hindi yung... Iinitin mo siya. Yan, kaya ko yan doon, Chef. Ilagay mo ito ang ating pasta. Ilagay na po natin ang cream. Alright. Nakita niyo yung sauce natin? Yan ang the best na spaghetti. That is the best sauce. Alright. So, ilagay natin dito, ha? O, ganito naman ang style natin dyan. Yan. Ang galing, ha? Yan. Yan ang ating tong. Okay. Maraming magic. Siyempre, ito ba tayo eh? Yan, okay. Lagyan na natin. Yeah. Sarap Lagyan yan, natin Chef. Sauce. Sarap talaga nito, mm -hmm. promise. Ito ang akin. Yes. Naku, nakakaigit. <laughs> ito sa'yo? <laughs> ito sa'yo? Mm -hmm. Lahat yeah. yan? <laughs> Lahat po yan. Oh, ayan. Tapos, lastly is the cheese. Sige nga. Mm -hmm. Pwede natin garnish yan ng ano-ano. Ito na ng po? parsley. Ito lang. Sa ibabaw lang. Hindi na kailangan. Tad. Okay. Kunti lang. Tagyan natin ng kunting ping, ping, ping. Subukan ko, Chef. Sarap lang. Yes. Ping, ping, ping! Now we go to our of evaluation. Match the material listed in column A with the column A. Uses in column B. Write your answer on the space provided in each number. I'll give you five minutes to answer. Now we are going to answer our evaluation. Cooking oil uses used in frying, rubbing alcohol, antiseptic, pincel, for writing. Insecticide kills insect. Bleach 
whitens clothes, dishwashing liquid, washes causing utensils, cell phone, make and receive calls, computer, programmable machine, detergent, for cleaning laundry, and vinegar, for cooking ingredients. For your assignment, you are going to bring pictures, materials that are useful but can also be harmful. Happy learning! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, Roy Mulanda. Bye!